What is going on, New York Giants fans? Welcome back to another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm going to discuss a new signing that the Giants have added to their offensive line today, signing Matt Gono to a one-year deal, former Atlanta Falcon. And I'll dive into him in just a few moments. But folks, remember to follow us on our Instagram and Twitter handles at Big Blue Avenue and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Big Blue Avenue for more and exclusive content. We need one more to hit that big 250 number. So really do appreciate all the support we've gotten over the past month or so now. It's been awesome. Now, diving into this move, Matt Gono was signed today. They intend to sign him to a one-year deal. Went undrafted in 2018 out of Wesley College. So, you know, he's a local kid from New Jersey, which I think the Giants liked. From Burlington County, that's where he played his high school football. Six foot four, 305 pounds. So he's a big guy. And this is a guy who had a lot of promise. And his first four NFL seasons, unfortunately, were riddled by injuries. To go over his timeline just a little bit, he made the Atlanta Falcons initial 53-man roster in 2018, but was inactive for every game except for the final game of that season. Then in uh, 2021, so last off season, the Falcons placed a second-round tender on Gono, but he was later placed on the physically unable to perform list to start the 2021 season. He did undergo surgery, and then Gono was released by the Falcons a little bit over a month ago, back on January 28th. Now to go over his timeline with Atlanta, he only played a total of 21 games over four years. It's not awful for an undrafted free agent, but the reason why he didn't play in that many games is because of his injuries. So, Gono started four games total combined in 2019 and 2020. Those were the two years he most primarily played in. Now, if you look at the five career games where he's logged 50-plus snaps, his stats are interesting, and I want to go over them a little bit because the Giants are looking for you know new offensive linemen in this offseason, and they don't have many offensive tackles on their contract going into free agency. In fact, the only two they have are Andrew Thomas and Matt Pert. The Giants are moving on from Nate Solder, thank goodness. Um, so, yeah, there really isn't going to be much cooking for the Giants at that tackle position. So this is a move of insurance. I'm sure he's going to be a backup. I don't think he'll be competing for a starting position, but I'm sure he will get an opportunity to make some noise. So the five career games where Gono has logged over 50-plus snaps, here's how he's performed. And these are all 2020 stats, by the way. Four games at right tackle, one at left guard. So, obviously, you can see the number here. Gave up 14 pressures and one sack in those five games. And now you're looking at 14 pressures over five games. You're thinking, wow, he's given up three pressures a game. That's not great. Six of those pressures and the one sack he ate, he gave up came where he was playing left guard against the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, 2020 was the big COVID season for the NFL, so a lot of players were in and out of the lineup. So Gono, who's primarily a tackle, was forced to move to left guard. He is a right tackle. So the transition from right tackle to left guard is not easy for a lot of players, unless if you're a Giants fan and maybe your name is David Deal. So a lot of those bad numbers came up in that game against Kansas City where he started at left guard. If you take those away, that's four games of 50-plus snaps where he only gave up eight pressures from the right tackle position. So now you're minimizing this number to two pressures per game. Not bad overall. This kid should come in and compete for a roster spot. You know, he's only 25 years of age. So I'm not expecting much from this signing. This isn't a signing where I'm like, oh, this guy's going to compete for a starting role. That's not the case. I think he's clearly here to provide some depth on that offensive line, similar to what the Giants did last offseason when they signed Jonathan Harrison, who wound up not really playing this past season. That was the ideal situation. You wanted veteran depth bringing Nate Solder back on a rework deal, and then they got Harrison as well. So I think getting that depth is important for the Giants because it's more than likely that the Giants are going to draft an offensive lineman either on day one or day two. We hope one of those first two picks 
Folks, we're proud to announce our new partnership with BetUS, America's favorite sports book, serving customers for 25 plus years. Bet on all your favorite sports, or you can use our promo code below at join125, where you get a 125% sign up bonus up to $2,500. You can bet on the go, anytime, anywhere on your mobile device. Get quick and fast payouts where you can enjoy live betting and bet during the game for the early and best lines. That's BetUS, where the game begins. Folks, I hope you all enjoyed this video on Matt Gono here today. Really do appreciate you guys watching. And remember, free agency is one week away from today. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. And without further ado, let's go Big Blue.